Today, he faced a judge at the Little Rock Environmental Court. KRK 4's Rochelle Turner has been following this story since last month, and she joins us now live from the complex with what happened today, Rochelle. Well, Bob and Ashley, good evening to you. Not much has changed at the Big Country Chateau Apartments. We did spot a Centerpoint Energy crew working right here in this area. They left about 30 minutes ago, but still no gas. And many people who live here were hoping that today's hearing would change things. Now, take a look at this video. We caught the owner, Andrew Swinkowski, shortly after today's hearing, where he pleaded not guilty for failing to install and maintain utilities at the complex on Colonel Glen Road. The hearing Hearing only lasted about three minutes, and several people who live at the complex and workers from Arkansas Renters United were there. They were disappointed because they wanted to see more happen and wanted the owner to be fined for not being up to code on the gas lines. That didn't happen, and instead, they just set him up for his next court hearing. But I did get a chance to ask him, when will the gas be turned back on? Hoping to get the entire property reinspected by the end of this week and gas on by the end of this week. At this moment, the main line has passed, five buildings have passed, and we're calling for inspection on two additional buildings today. No, I don't believe that. I don't believe that. They've been saying that, they've been saying that for the last month that they're gonna try to get it fixed. Renters say they're also dealing with mold, leaky pipes, and pests. The property manager says once the issue is restored, they will work with people to compensate them for the problems. But based on what they've been experiencing so far, they don't believe that either. Now, I did ask management why no one was answering the phone calls at the front office, and he did tell me today that there's staff there ready to answer any questions. He's expected to be in court on October 28th. For now, reporting live in Little Rock, I'm Rochelle Turner, KRK 4 News. Bob Michelle, and Ashley, back to you. Thank you very much. And a quick